Okay, I'm claiming that is a brand new body part never known by medicine. This is the anchor that holds body parts into other body parts. This was attached as is down here, right there. It's this particular tab. And this is it on one of my mud fossils. See? You see, it's the same tab. And it holds this into the body, whatever this was, some kind of a muscle assembly. And this is the same thing here. Now, what this is, I don't know. But I can see there's a tear in the fabric here. So, this is literally the anchor. And that whatever that body part is, is being torn away. And that right there is the anchor of the lung. And that's that little bitty lung. Every single lung I have here, 100% have the exact same attachment. And this is a completely different material than, well, it's not completely different, but it's, it's, uh, it's quite, a, it's significantly different, let's put it that way, to, to be considered not the fascia alone. It has to have some significance here above the fascia layer. Now, don't tell me that, oh, there can be a new body part. They'd know about it. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. They just found this one back in 2018. Now, I found this back in 2012, and I dig, dug into it because I was saying, what the, this, this is where all these balls are all around the earth. This is the interstitium, and this is what it looks like right there. That's the interstitium. And then there's, um, I don't know if they showed a picture over here, but it's all those balls that are all over the earth. Okay, here's the deal. <clears throat> People have been talking about a mud fossil museum, and I agree, it's time. And I have virtually everything to do with it. I discovered them, and I've got them DNA tested. Excellent quality DNA sequences for these gigantic body parts. And they were homo sapiens, and, and I mean, I spent the money, I did the work, I got it all done, and I think, yes, it is time for a museum. I don't really want to be that heavily involved. I don't... It's not like I want to make any money or anything. I want to have it seen, and I would like to see it in Connecticut somewhere. Um, at any rate, these, this was three samples taken, and they were um, the giant fingertips, uh, well, the giant finger, and, uh, and it has, still has fingerprints on it. This is still right on my property. And it peeled right off just like that when I smacked it. And the rest of the finger is out there. It's three feet long. Where is it? It's right here somewhere. It's three feet long. And that's where I smacked it to get the fingerprint off. And there's the finger nail right there. And there's the pad. It bumps into the next bone. So I have this stuff, and then that was one of the things that was on the test. And here's one of the other ones. Hold on. Was this um, this hand? If you take your left hand, splay it back like that. This is the bumper pad that runs off to your little finger. This is just halfway up the hand. The hand goes way out there. This is the thumb side. The white stuff, the silvery looking stuff, that's the grip skin. That's the stuff just like I showed you to peel off of the fingerprint. It's a real heavy-duty skin that happens on your hands and your feet and your elbows and your fingertips and all that. This is the cleave right in between your hand. One pad goes this way, the other pad goes that way. That's the tendon that runs down. I have fingers and knuckles and all kinds of things from this one. And then that was the second one I had tested. And the third one was the lung which was our size, right there. That other hand was four feet wide. The fingertip was three feet long. This is basically our size. All this stuff was found basically right in the same couple of hundred feet from each other. I can't explain it. All I can do is show it. But somebody's talking about a mud fossil museum. There have been people talking about it for a while now. And it really is time to do something. And like I say, I really have almost everything that you can possibly need to create one. 
I don't want to get that involved in it. It's, I, I, I want it to be seen, and I'd love to have it close that I could go there and sort of walk around and say hello to people. <laughs> but I don't really want to, I, I, I don't want to make any money, and I don't want to spend that time to do it. I just don't have the time. My life is running a little bit on the short side now.